Tonight, a growing trend in plastic surgery. People traveling to South Florida to go under the knife. A lot of doctors were more concerned with the rock star status BBLs gave them versus the actual outcome for the patient. Now, CBS News Miami investigates what you need to know to avoid a botched procedure. South Florida has become a mecca for cosmetic surgery as people flock here from all over the country to get nipped and tucked. In some cases, it's led to botched procedures, even death. CBS News Miami's Nakaya Carrero is here now with the things to look for to stay safe. Nakaya? Lauren and Jim, I spoke to several women from different parts of the country, Orlando, Texas, Indiana. They all have one thing in common. They came here to Miami for cosmetic surgery. Not all had a good experience or wanted to go on camera, but they were all united in wanting their stories to be told. From, it just felt very factory like, you know, let's just get you in, get you out. This woman doesn't want to share her identity. She decided she was ready for a new look by getting the popular surgery, a Brazilian butt lift, or also known as a BBL. My number one goal was I wanted to look natural and um, I didn't want to look like I had a surgery. She lives in Texas, but set out on a journey to find the right surgeon in Miami because the surgery is so common here. But with her living out of state, the search for her doctor was done remotely, and that's when the red flag started. Most of her consultations were not even with the doctor. Personally, I felt like in my research that a lot of doctors were more concerned with the rock star status BBLs gave them versus the actual outcome for the patient. More than 28,000 people decided to get the body contouring surgery in 2022, a 2% increase since 2019. And while the woman who traveled from Texas found the right doctor, not everyone was as lucky. Tierra Gaucher also did not want to be on camera. She instead wants the focus of her story to be on her mother, Tanisha Walker. Things will never be the same, holidays, birthdays, just feel empty inside. Tanisha traveled from Indiana to South Florida for a breast augmentation. Her original doctors told her it wasn't safe due to pre-existing conditions. That's when someone suggested her to another doctor. She said, hey, Tierra, she said, I'm here. She said, I will call you when I'm out of surgery. I said, okay, mom, I said, I love you. She said, I love you too. I never heard anything else from my mom. Tierra told CBS News Miami that her mother said the new doctor told her to come in for surgery the day after she contacted him. It was their only in-person meeting. But according to her, instead of Tanisha having her breasts done, the plan had changed. Her daughter telling me the new doctor performed a 360 liposuction and a BBL. According to the medical examiner, the grandmother of 11 died after the procedure. As a result, the Florida Department of Health disciplined the doctor. He was fined $10,000, had to attend a one-hour lecture on safety and complications when it comes to a BBL, and keep a record of conducting the procedure with ultrasound technology for six months. Since 2019, a total of 45 people have died from complications of plastic surgery here in Miami alone. Tanisha Walker was one of them. 21 people died after she did. And despite the deaths, people are still coming here to get popular surgeries like the Brazilian butt lift. Most of these patients are young mothers. So it's not just that one person died. This death, of course, is incredibly tragic, but it affects the children, it affects the significant others, it affects the whole family. Dr. Pat Pazmino with Miami Aesthetics has performed plastic surgery for 20 years and is a member of the American Society of Plastic Surgeons. He told me the demand is at an all-time high as more women are inquiring about body contouring procedures. And many times they would show up having already paid for the surgery, having someone who is not a doctor determine what procedure they were going to get, then they would meet the surgeon five minutes before they were wheeled into the OR. A total of 10 women have died from fat embolisms in Miami since 2019, a complication commonly seen post BBL surgery. Really investigate the doctors. Go ahead and Google. Google the doctor, Google the address 
where the procedure will take place. The best thing to do is to go to a website like checkyoursurgeon.com. They can also go to the Florida Department of Health because these, um, these resources, they list only the legitimate boards that are recognized. And there's this advice from one patient to a potential one. Do your best to meet with somebody in person um, because that's when you really, really get uh, an even greater feel of, of the competency of the doctor and who they are and how they're gonna take care of you because once you're done with the surgery, their part may be finished, but you still have a long road ahead of you. I reached out to Tanisha Walker's doctor for comment. He told me he cannot due to privacy laws. Dr. Pazmino also says another way to see if your doctor is the right one for you is to ask questions like where would the surgery take place and can it be done in a hospital? In the studio, Nakaya Carrero, CBS News, Miami.